worries and anxieties that plague our mind. The devil is a great master at telling you what will happen to you if such and such a thing happens. What will happen to you if your husband dies and you have no income left? What will happen to you if you don't have a house of your own, you're always a rented house, and you don't have enough money, things are going costly? Do you know that more than 90% of the things that we are afraid of never happen? Look back in your past life and see if it's not true. This is the devil's work, putting all types of fear about what will happen if this, what will happen if this, what will happen if that happens, what will happen. No. Those little things, let's conquer now. Be anxious for nothing. Philippians 4, 6. How to overcome it? In everything. By prayer and supplication. I'm just quoting Philippians 4, 6. Supplication means specific request. Prayer is general. Lord, please deliver me from anxiety. Supplication is, Lord, this particular thing is what I'm anxious about. Uh, I want to be free from it. And the third thing is with thanksgiving. Lord, thank you. Uh, you heard my prayer. It's like in the government offices, you know, a little clerk gets a file on his table, some complicated matter, and he forwards it up to the higher office saying, uh, Sir, this is not in my department. It's too much for me. You handle it. The file is gone from his table. Have you put all the files away from your mind, send it up to heaven and say, Lord, this is too much for me to handle. I can't handle this. It's for you to take care of. You see, that clerk in the government office is not worried about that file once his senior officer has received it. But we Christians, we pray, we believe that God's heard it, and then we still keep worrying as if the file is still on our table. No, it says the peace of God will guard our hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. These little, little things that happen today, if you say, Lord, I want to be free from anxiety, you'll be prepared for the days to come.